Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a like five or six day vlog. I started doing a weekend vlog and it turned into just snippets here and there from every day this past week. So I hope that is enjoyable for you to watch. It's kind of fun to see what I've been doing throughout the week and I thought I'd share it with you. And if you're new to my channel, I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I'd love to have you join my YouTube community by hitting that big red subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well. Um, right now, currently too, we also have a playlist going on my channel, my husband and I. Um, our Fixer Upper, we purchased a small 500 square foot place, so a tiny home, um, that we are renovating to make into an Airbnb or a rental. So my husband is doing a lot of the filming. Right now we're in the demolition stages still. But go check those out if you like watching that stuff or if you want to learn how to do some of your own DIYs and demolition and things like that. Anyways, let's get started with the vlog and I hope you enjoy. We just got back from Allstate Choir. I'm a vocal teacher if you didn't know that. And we had we left at 7 a.m. this morning and just got back at about 2. So long drive back from Rapid City where Allstate Choir was at. But it's nice to be home. My home is not in array. It's in disarray, that's for sure. I haven't cleaned it. It's kind of a mess. But it's so beautiful outside that I'm going to go for a walk. Then I need to dehydrate some apples. My friend loaned me a dehydrator, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm super tired. Of course, driving makes you more tired. But I just need to get back into my Sunday routine. I always hate missing church on Sunday because then it just makes the day feel strange and off. Did you say to go for a walk, Maggie? So excited. It's a beautiful day. The leaves are basically falling off the trees already. Not... Cool, we have so much wind. But it's like 67 degrees in South Dakota. Couldn't ask for a better fall day to be out for a walk with my doggy after a weekend, well, a four day weekend with students, so it's great. I just love looking down a street that has so many colorful trees. I don't know if you can see that, like the burgundy, the orange, the yellow still some green but it's just so gorgeous and that house right there has some bushes that are so gorgeous sorry I'm wobbly I don't have my stand so I've noticed I run out of breath a lot quicker now that I'm pregnant I know I'm just walking quite slowly right now actually but if I go up hills go upstairs I do run out of breath but um, I normally stay pretty active anyways at least for times a week but it's still good to stay active and exercise when you're pregnant and to eat healthy and that's a hard thing to do like when you're gone for a four day weekend to eat healthy but I just look at the menu try to make healthy choices some salads some fish stuff like that so just trying to eat um, pretty well still food and things like that do not bother me anymore thank the Lord I was pretty nauseous first trimester but Everything's pretty good now. Smells don't get to me. I even drink coffee a little bit now again, which is nice because I'm a sucker for coffee. But I can't talk and do this very well at the same time and my arm's getting sore. So I'll just get back to you after our walk. Hi everyone, I wanted to touch base um, with what happened with my last part of my video because I got extremely tired <laughs> And just didn't feel well. Um, I went to bed about 8 and so there was not much to film. It is Tuesday. I didn't film much yesterday. I think I'm just going to do this week and film it for you. Um, yesterday was pretty busy. Um, after school I went directly to a Mary Kay facial party. That was fun. And ordered a few things. Had a good girls time at that. And then... I guess I did do some stuff. I made some homemade applesauce and dehydrated some apples. So yay for homemaking, right? Um, I did that and then what else? Oh yeah, I had a really good pork that I had in the crock pot. So that was really, really good. Um, today, let's see what's gonna happen today. Um, I might do a few more things with apples. I need to try on some maternity clothes. I might show you a little bit of that. But I'm going to show you the dehydrator. 
So this is the dehydrator. It's a friend's. It's super great. Has lots of trays. Here's some more. Another batch of apples I made. Um, and they just taste so good. All it is is cinnamon on some apples. That's all I did. So really good. Um, it's just showing you my applesauce too. Sorry, there's my chicken soaking in pickle juice actually. But here's my homemade applesauce. My husband loves it. He ate my other batch already. So yeah, it's just... It's fun doing homemaking. So our house is kind of disarray. The giant box. I have my Vitacost to order over there. Oh, and Maggie. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> she hears me. My Vitacost box. I bought some stuff to make a stretch mark scrub um, with my expanding belly. So yeah, I thought that would be fun to use. I want to use an all natural scrub for that. Um, so I might have to show you that remedy or if you want to see it. Anyways, um, I need to charge my battery because my husband's going to go continue tearing down on some of the house and the ceiling. So I want to make sure there is some battery life left for him. But I will, I will continue to film some more today and tomorrow because we are doing a trunk or treat. And I'm excited to just show you our trunk. And then Thursday's just... I don't know what's happening Thursday or Friday. There's always something that pops up I feel like. So anyways... Oh, it is Wednesday and I am on my way back to our trunk or treat at church. Um, sorry, I'm trying to open stuff. Don't have a lot of hands. But I am getting some I'm getting some bears that we are handing out because we are decked out for Christmas with our trunk. I'll show you when I get to the church. Here's our trunk. It's a Christmas trunk. <laughs> And we're handing out bears that Blaze couldn't sell on Amazon anymore. So that's what we're going to do. Hi. Well, this is going to take a while. <laughs> you guys want a Christmas bear? We're also getting rid of Christmas bears. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Right? We're all Christmassy here. <laughs> You're welcome. Cool. Hey guys, it is Thursday and it is about 7 o'clock. We're just making pancakes, sausages, and eggs for supper. We're like, I am, I guess. Um, I just got done with piano lessons at about 6 o'clock. So it gets a little late on Thursday nights with everything. And I'm just exhausted from school. Been a long day. And yes, I'm squatting because my tripod is down low a little bit. Because Blaze has been using it on his renovation stuff. But anyways, I'm going to pick it up. There we go, that's better. I haven't been showing a lot of my outfits of the day lately. Um, I don't know why, I haven't been doing Instagram enough, so I need to get back into the routine of that. But anyway, here's my thrifted outfit. If you can see it, I'm not wearing my boots. Um, I had so many questions about my hair today from my students. They thought I dyed it from the back. They said it looks like I had a haircut. Anyway, but yeah, I need to post more on Instagram. It's been kind of Something I haven't even desired to do. So, anyway, we're gonna sit down to supper. Hi, Blaze. Hi. He's trying to be sneaky. I'm just doing my weekly vlog. Oh. And guess what I'm listening to? Uh. Blaze isn't ready for it. Christmas music! <laughs> well, you saw our trunk or treat really? yesterday was Christmas music, so. Guess what, I burned a couple pancakes. I smell it. <laughs> yeah, I had it up a little bit high, so. Eh. And they're the ones with chocolate chips in them. The rest of them don't have chocolate chips. Look at all those dishes we have to do. That's yeah, what it looks please. like. I'll help dry. Anyway, we're gonna eat supper. And I probably should make some apple butter with the last of the apples I got. Blaze is eating. So supper dishes are all done. We loaded the dishwasher. We don't do that very often. Um, we just like to wash them by hand. We don't have a lot anyways. And I made the simplest banana bread recipe. It's like five ingredients total um it's almost 8 30 now so i'm gonna shower up and use my new 
um, vitamin E oil for stretch marks. I have to still make my recipe with like coconut oil and what else? Lavender essential oils for um, my scrub. But actually maybe I'll do that right now and just look up the recipe that I was gonna use and make that real quick so that I have it for after I shower. I'll just show you that real quick. Okay, so I've got some coconut oil, some shea butter, and some cocoa butter. And these are all like off of Vitacost or, um, I don't remember where I got this, probably from Box or something. And then I'm gonna use my vitamin E oil and throw some lavender essential oils in there. Um, I've never made this before. It's from the website Momtastic. Uh, I think she's a blogger. So uh, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box of that. But it's just like two, I'll see if I can break this off, but two tablespoons of the oils and butter or of the coconut oil. I can really smell the cocoa. If, if my camera had a scent, um, button. I would let you smell this because it smells so good. And two tablespoons of the coconut oil. We gotta double check this here. Dump that in. And then once this is all in, you put it on the stove and melt it all together. A, a chunk. Oh yeah, that is like actual butter. Perfect. And cut another chunk. All right. So here it is, all in the chunks. Um, and I think I said I got some of these from Vitacost. I actually got them from Amazon. So I have an affiliate link I'll put in the description box as well for that. So I'm gonna stir this. Let it all melt, add it to my little mason jar here, and then I'll add some of my lavender essential oil. All right, so here's what I look enjoyed that weekly vlog it's kind of fun to see what I was doing even last week and I want to comment have you comment below what was or what is your favorite fall activity to do with your family or by yourself anyways I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe I will talk with you in the next video probably of a fixer upper